Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. Welcome to another 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Soraya here in IUIC Gastonia, North Carolina. All right? All praise to the Most High. If you would, get your Bible, get your pad, your pencil, and let's take notes, okay? I only have 15 minutes, so it's not going to be a long class. But I just want to edify according to the scriptures, okay? This class is called Perfectly Joined Together. The Most High God is raising up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, okay? And we know as a people we have been conquered, we have been divided, we have been separated, okay? Matter of fact, give me Zephaniah 2 and 1, all right? But God has ordained that we be perfectly joined together. It's a process, but... When it's all said and done, the beauty of it, the glory of it, for the Most High God and His Son, Jesus Christ, it's going to be done. It's going to be done. And can't nobody stop it. All praise to the Most High. So, Zephaniah 2 and 1, which we read, y'all hear it a many of times. I've heard it a many of times, okay? But let's hear it again. Faith coming by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. As we so often repeat this scripture, okay, it's very vital, important as men of the Most High God, as the women, the daughters, the mothers, the children, that we gather ourselves together, okay, O nation that's not desire, okay? Give me. Ecclesiastes, Sirach 25 and 1, okay? There shouldn't be what we call no ism or schisms or, or, or hatred or, or envy or malice or strife. Okay, that's not the fruits of the Spirit. Those are not the fruits of the Spirit. That's the lust of the flesh, okay? We all have a purpose and a plan for our lives. And glory be to the Most High God that he has allowed us to wake up to know that we are the 12 tribes or that we are the children of Israel, the lost sheep, okay, that's coming back, okay, in the spirit of Christ in the process of repentance, okay? Sirach 25 and 1. The book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 1. Uh-huh. And three things. He I said in three things. Read on. I was beautified. That I was beautified. That I looked. Not, not, I was beautified, glorified, beautiful before the Most High God, okay? Not an abomination to the eyes of God, but beautified to the Most High God. And three things I was beautified, which is what? And stood up beautiful bef both before God. First, and he said, both. It's two things, but first it says before who? Before God before and men. Before God? And men. And men, okay? And men. That they will see our good works and glorify God, okay? So don't get caught up on man. Remember, God is first. All praise to the Most High, okay? Three things I'll beautify, both before God first and then men because we have to be that example and that light to the other men, okay? Read on. The unity of brethren. Wait a minute. Didn't we just read Zephaniah 2 and 1 tells us to gather ourselves together? Gather together, O nation, my desire. Wait a minute. It's saying the unity of brethren, okay? This is one of the three things, the unity of brethren. Read on. The love of neighbors. The love of neighbors, okay? My neighbor is the children of my people, according to Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17, okay? We're going to read that here in just a second. It says the unity of brethren, not strife. Not separation, not envy, uh, 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 not hatred. It says the unity of brother. I love my brother. I thank God that I have brothers, okay? A nation that's standing behind me, all praising the most high, okay? Read on. A man and a wife that agree together. It says the unity of brother, which came first. The love of neighbors, which again is my brothers and my sisters, okay, of thy people, okay, a man and a wife that agree together. Mm. 
a man and a wife. Notice it said a man and a wife. It didn't say boyfriend and girlfriend. It said a man and his wife that agree together. What is more important than a man and a wife? What would they agree upon? Agree upon the word, the law, statute, and commandments of the word of God. Okay? The unity of the brethren, the love of neighbors, and a man and a wife that agrees together with God. All praise to the most high. Give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Let me deal with that neighbors, the love of neighbors. The, the love of neighbors. Okay? Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Okay. Thou sh shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Now, not just thing beating in your chest, in your mind, because it starts in the mind. This is the heart. This is what controls the, the body. This is what controls everything, okay? Your actions, your attitude, your spirit is the mind, okay? It says, so thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, which is the mind, okay? Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Correct. The, the plot Matthew 18. That's what we learn here in IUIC. That's what we learn here. Not just in IUIC, but according to the Bible. Okay, we apply Matthew 18. It says, again, read it again. Thou shalt in any wise uh -huh. rebuke thy neighbor. So, it shows you that there's going to be some mistakes made. It shows you that we're going to have some disagreements. Okay. Sometimes things are, are confused and may not have been took in the right way. We're going to have those moments. Obviously, we are because it says, thou shalt, what again? In any wise, rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor. Okay. And what? And not suffer sin upon him. That's the key right there. The key is that there's not sin suffered upon him or her. Okay. That's, the, that's very important. That's being our brother's keeper. That's the love of brethren. Okay? All praise to the most high. If I love you, I don't want to suffer sin upon you. All praise to the most high. Let's see. But, again, there's more to it. Read on. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So, does it look like if thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So, there's some correction there. And it can go both ways, okay? Because we all make mistakes. We are not perfected as of yet. But we're in the process of repentance. So there's going to be some mistakes along the way. But during that time, okay, once the rebuke has come in, it says, thou shalt not avenge or do what? Not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So that's that, none of that old street Negro stuff, okay? Avenge or... God is the, the is the avenger, okay? He says, thou shalt not avenge. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge, okay? Come on, man. Brothers, it's too much. Sisters, it's too much going on. Lord, help me. I don't want to bear any, 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 any grudges, okay? I pray the most high have mercy on me that I stay in the spirit. Okay, let's pray for one another because we are in some hard times. We go through these things. We, we're, not, we're not exempt for any of this, okay? So we have to pray for one another because we're going to make these mistakes, but they have to be corrected. All praise to the Most High because this is the love of brethren. Read on. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I notice it says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. That comes from the Lord. That didn't come from me. It comes from the Most High God himself. So all praise to the Most High for that. Okay? So as we're coming down to an end, uh, give me 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Mm-hmm. All praise to the most high. Perfectly joined together. We just read it right there. The unity of brother, the love of neighbors, and a man and a wife that agrees together. First Corinthians chapter one and verse ten. Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter one and verse ten. Uh-huh. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. Read on. 
by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Not, not, not that white image now. Get that out your head, okay? We're talking about the black Messiah, according to Revelation 1 and 14. The, the true Christ, the anointed one, okay? That by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that what? That ye all speak the same thing. We, we, we're supposed to speak what the scripture said. What we just read in Leviticus 19 and 17, uh, what we read in now, what we just read in Sirach 25, 21, we should all speak the same thing. Read on. And that there be no divisions among you. That there be no divisions among you. Okay. Read on. But that ye be perfectly joined together. There it is right there. Perfectly joined together. The only thing that's going to make us perfectly joined together is the law, statute, commandments, and the faith of Christ. All praise the most high. So that's where the title comes from right there. But that you be perfectly joined together in what? In the same mind. In the same heart, which is the mind. In the same mind. Read on. And in the same judgment. And in the same judgment. And the judgment comes from the word of God. All praise to the most high. Okay. So, as we wind it down, let me go with uh, Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. Because the most high God ain't just dealing. Uh, well, you know what? Give me uh, Tobit 8 and 6. Give me Tobit 8 and 6. Because we talk about the brethren. All praise to the most high. We talk about the neighbors. All praise to the most high. Okay, the love of neighbors. Now, let's talk about a man and a wife that agree together. Let's hit that one. Let's bring that out. Give me Tobit 8 and 6. Read that. The book of Tobit, chapter 8 and verse 6. Uh-huh. Thou made us Adam. God made us Adam from the dust of the ground. He's a black man. All praise the most high. Read on. And gave us him Eve. And gave him his rib, come from his rib, but we normally say, okay. But his wife or the woman come from, from man, meaning from man. They gave him his wife for and what? His wife for a helper and stay. No, 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 no. she supposed to be the, the leader and, and the head of the household. His wife for an helper and stay. Oh, she supposed to be the boss lady. She supposed to uh, 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 be the queen that, uh, and, and, and sit on the throne and, 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 and orchestrate everything. What did it say? And helper and stay. Hey, a helper and a stay. Okay, read on. Of them came mankind. Of them came mankind. Men, man and woman. Don't come, mankind don't come from two men or two women. Read on. Thou hast said, uh -huh. it is not good that man should be it alone. It ain't good that man should be alone. He should have a wife, not another man or a woman with another woman. It says it's not good that he should be alone. He need a helper and a stay. Read on. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. All praise to the Most High for an aid like unto ourselves. All praise to the Most High. Read on, verse 7. And now, O Lord, uh -huh. I take not this my sister for lust. Don't take a sister just for lust. That's going to end. That's going to run out. You're going to be lusting all over the place if you, that's what you yield your members to. Okay? Don't take this woman for lust. That's going to die. That's going to just drown you. That's going to bring nothing but total chaos. Read on. But uprightly. But uprightly. All praise to the most high. Okay. Read on. Therefore, mercifully ordained that we become aged together. Therefore, mercifully ordained that we may become aged together. All praise to the most high. Thank the Lord for that. Give me uh, Amos 3 and 3. We're coming down, brothers and sisters. We're coming down to an end. Uh-huh. We're coming down to an end. All praise to the most high. That we're coming down to an end. Amos 3 and 3. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3. Matter of fact, read Amos 3 and 1. We'll go from 1 to 3. May as well just get it all in there. The read book, that. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear this word. That the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel, you so-called black and Spanish Native American. Read on. Against the whole family. Against the whole family, the 12 tribes, okay? All 12 tribes is the whole family. Read on. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Uh-huh. Saying, you only. You only. 
have I known of all the families of the earth? Because God only chose us. All praises that we, we the only ones that He gave the law, statutes, commandments to. We the only ones that He chose above all nations as upon the face of the earth, according to Deuteronomy seven verse six. We ain't making it up. Go look it up. Read it yourself. Read on. Therefore, uh -huh. I will punish you for all your inequities. That's why we suffer the way we suffer because God is punishing us. But we're repenting now. So get out the way. So-called white man, get out the way, Ishmael. Get out the way, Moab. Get out the way. We ain't dealing with you. We're dealing with our people, okay? God has punished us. So we in a state of repentance trying to wake our people up so we can come out of this, this, this captivity that we in. Move out our way. You can't stop this. Read on. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two brothers walk together except they agree? To, can man? And woman or man and wife walk together said they'll be agreed. What are we gonna agree upon? Only thing that we can come together and agree on is the word of God. All praise the most high. Give me John 15 and 12, and we're gonna close it out. John 15, verse 12, down to 15 and 14. This is what we're gonna agree upon right here. All praise the most high. We're gonna agree on, we're gonna agree upon this right here and right now. And we'll add more to it later because it's plenty more. John chapter 15, verse 12. The book of John, chapter 15 and verse 12. Uh -huh. This is my commandment. Most I say, this is my commandment. What? That ye love one another uh -huh. as I love, that have loved you. That ye love one another as I have loved you. Read on. Gather love. What? Say that it says greater love. Read on. Has no man than this. He says greater love have no man than this. What? That a man laid down his life for his friends. That a man laid down his life for a friend. This is no greater love. Christ has set that example for us. No greater love than a man laid down his life for his brother, for his wife, his children, for his nation, for his people. Most of all, for God himself. All praise to the most high. Have no greater love. Verse, read on, verse 14. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever, I command you. Ye are my friend. If, if you do whatsoever, I command you. Again, I'm Captain Sarai. I appreciate you tuning in with 15 minutes with the captains. I hope this has edified you. Brothers and sisters, stay strong in the Lord and the power is might. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation.